in and those opinions will be different. I think Kevin Keegan, above anything else, is known for his honesty. And I think now we have a version of events that all Newcastle fans can believe. I think most Newcastle fans uh, idolised Keegan when he was here. I have enormous respect for him since. And I, like many fans, share the view that he's been shabbily treated because of the needs of big business. I think there's more bitterness now towards Keegan because, I mean, he's stirring up old things which, you know, everyone is sick and tired, I think, now with this Kevin Keegan story. We'll never forget what Kevin did with the club. I'm sick of saying that, you know. He was fantastic as a player, fantastic as a manager. I mean, you know, there should be something in Newcastle as reckon to give recognition to what Kevin did. But as far as his book's concerned, you know, he's cashing in on the book. He's allegedly cashing in as far as serialisation's concerned in one of the tabloid newspapers. Um, it's just a little bit sickening. I thought Kevin had a lot more respect for Newcastle than maybe fans than that. Keegan makes the point himself that the share flotation became the be-all and end-all. He found it difficult to communicate with directors about football in matters. And for the vast majority of Newcastle fans, the football is what counts, not the share flotation. There is life after Kevin Keegan. And I think that's what all the fans now truly understand. You know, that Kevin Keegan, yes, fantastic player, fantastic manager. But he is only after all human, just like all the other managers who've been at Newcastle United. And probably will be after Kenny Daglish.